Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be having a look at a new range of video transmitters from AKK. They are super high power, uh, the Alpha series. This is uh, an analog 5.8 gigahertz high power video transmitter. Uh, it's not a small unit, they're quite big being high powered. They need um, cooling fins and fans and things like that. Uh, but this one is the Alpha 4. It is uh, it goes up to 4 watts of video power, which is enormous. Uh, the most I've ever used is 1 watt. I think 4 watts is probably the legal limit where I am for the 5.8 gigahertz band. So any more than that, um, you have to be sure that your uh, local regulations allow it. Anyway, why would you need more power? Well, if you're going for longer range and better reception, you're much better off addressing the receiver side of the uh, system before you go for more power. You should have a good quality receiver, uh, put the antenna right up high above the ground, use a, a high gain directional antenna and maybe even consider antenna tracking. All of those things will have uh, a much greater effect on uh, video quality and range than just adding more power because you don't get double the distance with double the power, it is, uh, you have to have four times the power to get double the distance. So uh, adding lots of power uh, is going to cause lots of extra heat, uh, maybe not improve your signal all that much. But if you have optimized everything else, like the reception side, then adding more power might be what you need to do. Um, now, four watts of power is enormous. It is going to interfere with a lot of other people around you, so it's something you would do while you're flying out by yourself. If four watts isn't enough for you, then AKK have also introduced a five watt version. It goes up to five watts, as well as an eight watt version. And top of the power range, 10 watts of output. That is absolutely crazy. I can't imagine what possible use you would have for that. If you can't use digital, if you're out by yourself in the middle of nowhere and you want to try for ultimate range, um, who knows, maybe that's why you would use them. But anyway, so I'm going to have a closer look and I'll, I'll try out the Alpha 4 only on this minimum power because, as I said, uh, there are restrictions where I am. So let's open it up and have a closer look on the bench. All right, let's have a look at the Alpha 4. We get a nice little brochure manual sort of thing there. Interesting information in there. We'll have a look at that. But look at the size of this thing. This is a beast. This is the monster truck of video transmitters, I think. Um, so that is uh, a big fella. Uh, it has a large uh, set of cooling fins there and a fan as well. And you can see we have five volts out for the camera, ground, video, TBS or smart audio for flight control board control of your video transmitter and they say dual power ground and dual uh, voltage in that just means that they've provided two wires because these things draw so much current the small wires and the little plugs aren't quite enough i don't think input voltage 12 to 28 or 3 to 6s and we have a single little uh, number led for setting up power and band the uh, 5 the 8 and the 10 all have the exactly the same form factor so they're just changing the uh, the allowable power inside I guess also in the box uh, we get uh, antenna extender SMA style and the little connection cable here and connection cables you can see that'll be the 5 volts that'll be the ground that'll be the video smart audio and the dual twisted wire for ground and power in and they say you must solder both of these to uh, get the uh, amount of current going through there oh we also have i forgot to tell you a little microphone on there as well and four uh, mounting holes and the uh, operating button on the side there and here's the little note here due to high power consumption and high current we use dual 12 to 28 volt power input cables and dual ground cables. And VTX also supports pit mode. If you're, uh, you can enter that if you're connected to your flight control board, which means it goes to minimum power while you're hanging around at, in, in the pits, uh, ready for a race, I guess. 
Now I have to say you wouldn't use this if you were flying with other flyers. Even one watt is going to destroy everyone else's signal. And if you go up to four watts, then you know, you're just going to knock everyone else out of the sky. Can't even imagine what 10 watts would do. You really need to be out flying by yourself trying to get long range uh, out in your you know, thousand acre ranch or something like that, I guess. Eight channels on all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bands. So that's 80 individual channels. And this is very important. Uh, the power consumption, the Alpha 10 and on its full 10 watts at 12 uh, volts would draw 2.8 amps. Uh, 6S, it would draw 1.1 amps. So these are things you have to consider when you're powering this. Uh, you may even need to consider external power for it. So there we go, that is a beast. Now they recommend that uh, you pair it with the uh, AKK tube antenna. The right hand circularly polarized comes in white and black, no difference otherwise. SMA connector, 160 millimeter stalk. So let's have a quick look at the website, see if there's any more information on there, and then I'll, I'll wire it up and uh, test it out on something on the <laughs> one watt. Maybe, I won't go any higher than that, I don't need to, but uh, just know that four, five, eight, ten watts are available. Just incredible. Not sure I really understand how it would be used, uh, what situations, if you can think of a situation, why don't you uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, but for, for me, I really don't need anything above 200 milliwatts, really. Anyway, it's available, and uh, I'm here to tell you about it. Okay, we're on the AKK website here. This is the Alpha 4, uh, the 4 watt 80 channel video transmitter. As you can see, it's pre-sale and they um, will be shipped on February the 25th. Uh, $79 for the 4 watt. Switchable power, 1, 2, 3, 4 watts on this one. And it does support smart audio, built-in microphone and fan. There's the dimensions. It is uh, a pretty chunky piece of kit. 68 millimeters, 15 high, 36 wide, weighing 48 grams. And here are the power measurements uh, just to show that they actually do give what they claim to be uh, the output. And here are all the other ones. Uh, 159 for the 10 watt, 129 for the 8, 99 for the 5, 79 for the 4. And the 10 watt uh, goes, you can choose one, three, five, seven, and 10 watts. So what remains to be done is I'll wire it up and connect up a camera, put it on the plane and go for a fly. I've mounted the AKK Alpha 4 on my Ranger 1600 because that'll carry the weight without any problems. I have my camera analog camera up on the tail there so we'll get a nice view as we're flying. Uh, I'm only going to be in one watt because that's all I feel comfortable with really. Um, I'm not really going to be testing range or anything like that, just really video quality uh, and show that it actually works. But uh, anyway, let's go for a fly. <laughs> Props a bit small on here, so uh, oh, it's going okay. That's good. Signals oh, a little bit grainy. That's a surprise. Thought it'd be a lot better than that. That's surprising, really. Unless it's still in pit mode or something. So now we're at 2 watts and definitely out of pit mode. So I was probably in pit mode before, which is absolute minimum power. A little bit of uh, liney interference there. Uh, and that could just be the proximity of the video transmitter to my motor and ESC and that sort of stuff. Uh, but clean that up with a LC filter. It's going pretty well.
Very good, so there you go, that's the AKK Alpha 4, super high power. Uh, I shudder to think about the range of the full 10, 10 watt version. As I said, I can't really show you long range, that's just not allowable. And we're down. Of course what I need to do is hook up the uh, smart audio and we'll be able to see on the screen what the actual power is. And I'll do that in another video I think on the bench. But uh, that's enough for now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.